tasting room with uh, Danielle Coulon. And Danielle, you have a, uh, a wonderful example here of several of your wines. Why don't you tell us just a, a couple of words about these wines, um, what, what their profile is, and what foods you would pair them with? Okay, the first one is the white Chateau du Papa. It's a rare, very rare wine, only 6%. It's a blend with uh, six varieties of grape, and it's very, very good with uh, aperitif and uh, fish, and very, very good. And uh, uh, the second one is a uh, wine for every day, Côte du Rhône, uh, made with uh, Grenache, uh, Syrah, and Senso. It's very, very elegant, a lot of spice and fruit. And you make, you, make a lot of that, you make a lot of this wine, so yes. we find it in the United States, is that yes. right? Yes, yes. That's a wine very easy to drink with a lot of personality and uh, with a spice and uh, I like it very much. After this wine is more serious, it's a Côte du Rhône village Rasto. It's the last year because uh, next year Rasto arrived like a cru. So the new name is Rasto, it's not Côte du Rhône village Rasto. It's a blend with 80 Grenache and 20 Syrah. It's more serious than the other. Easy to drink, uh, regular, uh, but uh, with a more strong uh, cooking. And, and what, what would you pair this? What food would you like to pair oh, this with? For the first one, with only with a barbecue is perfect, but uh, uh, for me, you can drink with everything. If you like the fish with a red wine, I think the Coturon is okay with this. Okay. And the Rasto maybe need a little bit more structure. Okay. And in the Rasto, you have a special cuvée, the name is Blue Clay, Argile Bleu. And uh, this is a selection of terroir. This is the same variety great, just the terroir gives a difference. And the wine is very, very more deep, very more uh, strong, but uh, it stays fresh. Here, you need, uh, uh, you need more cooking, but it's a wine for the people who like the wine. And, and, and pairing with food, the same as the, um, as the other races? Yeah, yes, maybe is this, the, all the meat is very good with. All the meat? Yes. After, we arrive in the Chateau Neuf du Pape. So, the Chateau Neuf du Pape, uh, Domaine de Borona, is my regular cuvée, is a wine blend with all the sorting varieties, great, but uh, the Grenache is the most important. So, young is open, but the age very well. And you have a fruit and a minerality, and the end of the mouth is very long. But what's, what's the percentage of Grenache in this one, uh, Daniel? 70%. 70%, okay. Yes. And uh, maybe if you want more details, 10% Syrah, 10% Mourad, 4% Senso, and 6% of all the other varieties. So, and this is very, very good for a lot of things, but uh, I think the lamp is very important. For lamb? Yes. After. You arrive on a very, very raw wine. It's a very uh, little cuvée. The name is Boirona. Boirona is the old name in all French. And uh, it's a wine made with the very old vines. 80 years old for the younger to more than 100 years old. So it produces a very low quantity, but with very good uh, taste and uh, this is a wine for special events. And, and this is a wine that we were talking that you could lay down for 10, 15 years easily. Is that yes, right? Yes, 15, 20 years is a uh, guarantee. <laughs> and uh, I say it's possible to keep all the life. Wow. And after all, you have the same wine in white wine. So it's very, very large, only six barrels a year. And this is a blend in the vineyards. All the six varieties are, but Clairet and Roussan are the most important. Maybe 80% of together. And what would you like to pair this with for food? Oh yes, this is a very exceptional wine. Very mature, with a good fresh. And uh, so you can eat this with uh, lobster, I like this. And uh, with uh, maybe uh, white meat. Chicken? Maybe chicken and uh, pig. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. A great lineup, tremendous wines. These are, and these are all exported into the United States, is that right? Yes.